Okay, my new video tripod is arrived by Niwa. So I forget the model name. We will open this up and have a look at the model name. Hopefully it's written in there somewhere. All right, I just opened the box and it's empty. I thought it was a bit light. That's strange. I'm only joking, it's been there. I pulled it out, it's in a nice case. Uh, feels a little bit padded. Uh, where's the zip end? Must be at this side. Oh, down here, okay. Let's pull this open and go blurry. There you go, and it's in a bag. Okay. Let's lift him out. <clears throat> okay, we got a little um, guide there, I guess. But here is the tripod. You can see the new brand on the, the video head there. Nice and big. Wow. Right, okay, so I'm gonna um, open the bag. Let's see what we got. Up here we've got a, no, it's just twisted, okay, it's not sealed, good. That makes it easier to do with one hand. And reach in, grab a leg, my foot on the bottom, and pull. Okay, it's a nice weight on it, mind. It's quite heavy, but that's good because it's for videos and not for photography. So there's the, the head itself, we've got a quarter inch screw and a three eighth screw there and a little pressy dingly thing that uh, goes into some cameras have these holes, second holes for the pushy anything, <laughs> some don't. I think that's just to keep it perfectly lined with the uh, head. Uh, so looking on the side here we've got a lock switch there which will uh, I think unlock the head itself. Excuse my voice, by the way, I've got a cold. So we've got the video head handle going down there. Uh, another lock switch there. You have to pull the actual head off, I'm guessing. And that one maybe for rotating, but I'll, um, let me put the legs, I put the camera down, pull the legs out so it's stable and have a play around with it. Ah, problems, problems, problems. Right, so there's a pin down there which holds the legs together. You can't open them unless you pull that pin up. This was attached to the pin, I, you pull it up and it unpins, but what has happened here is you can see there it's not in line, you can see the two there make half a circle, the third one is out of line. So at some point either they did that accidentally in the factory when it closed it up or it's done it in transit, but I doubt that's done it in transit, it's probably been done in the factory. Because that's out of line it's holding it shut, so when I pull this it ripped off. You can see there it is just completely torn and so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that open. I have to try and get a screwdriver and prise it open. So uh, that's not a good start. Not having much luck today at all. Right, so this is ball head type uh, video head so you can easily change these. You can see there the uh, dish in there. So this will go into that. I mean this is already put together, I just took this apart. And this screws to the bolt underneath. Nope. Gonna make sure it's level though. I mean, there's there is a leveler on it, so let's get that level, as level as I can. There you are. So that's that's that in. So the pan in, I don't find has got any fluidity to it. I mean, I'm not an expert, this is the first time I've ever had a um, video tripod. Um, but it seems to be, I can move it very easily like that, just by tapping it. Whereas up and down, has definitely got fluidity to it, it's, it's resisting me. So I can't, if I just tap it like that, it doesn't really move, it just vibrates. But if I do it left and right, it moves very easily. So I don't know whether it's supposed to be like that or whether it's defected. But up and down, it's quite strong. And this is this is loose as well. You can see how loose that is. I do notice. I don't, again, I don't know if this is normal. But if I go right to the top there and let go, it pushes itself back down. Same as if I go right to the bottom, I let go, it pushes itself back up. Don't know whether that's normal. Um, hopefully, you guys can tell me that if you've got experience with these types of tripods. So let me know in the comments. Um, you can switch this arm over to the other side there is a, a, a mounting thing there for it you just literally unscrew this here and it comes off and you can also adjust the angle of it it's got little teeth in there so you can adjust the way you want it exactly and then just tighten it back up uh, so you can switch it over if you want or you can just perhaps you can buy another one of these and have two 
some people like to have two it, it has a quick release lock switch here which you can untie and untwist uh, it doesn't lift up and off like a lot of them do it it slides out so you have to slide it in and out from the back it's not a big deal but I would have preferred one that can uh, lift off but there you go and then locks in quite quite nicely the lock down here is for the rotation so if I was to push that to the left I can't rotate it anymore obviously to the right then it rotates freely uh, this one is the up and down lock so if I lock that up and down there's a bit of give on it there's a bit of wiggle on it which I'm not too keen with but uh, it seems okay otherwise I don't know what this is for I'll be honest you can push it in and you can push it up but I have no idea what is for and uh, I should read the book that came with it <laughs> that would probably explain all so perhaps I'll do that all right so I found in the book what this is for it's called a safety button apparently it's supposed to lower this silver knob there there's one over here which can't lower so it can't go off the plates can't slide off that way it has to come off this way but apparently this is supposed to be sticking up and when you push that it goes down you can see it going down but it's not coming up enough so it's supposed to be able to stop it coming back and you're not supposed to be able to lift this to slide this plate off until you press this button but uh this one's not working it's not coming up so that is defected oh there it is nope see that i have to i have to hold it up <laughs> I think a spring might have gone in that. That's supposed to be sticking up all the time. And only lower down when I press the button. Right, so I'm pretty sure I think I know what's wrong with it. Whether you can see or not, there's a screw. Let's see if I can zoom into that. Right in the center of the screen there. Can't really see, but it's a screw. And it seems like it is loose. I've uh, poked it with a screwdriver and it is definitely loose. So that is supposed to be holding this tight to the top like that but instead it's loose so it this is just loose <laughs> it's just hanging down i can't get to it with a screwdriver because of this um the, the, the rest of the head is in the way the ball head thing or whatever not ball head the fluid head uh so i can't get to it with a screwdriver i would have to take all these screws out to remove this whole thing to get to that i don't want to do that all right, so I've mounted on the rig with camera to the tripod. It all looks good. The um, the tilt seems a little better now because it's got weight on it. So it definitely feels more fluid. I had to do some test shots with this just to see how it is. But it definitely um, feels more smooth now. I'm not going to do the up and down without two hands because as soon as I loosen this, I think it's gonna tilt forward. Yep, there it goes. Because it's front heavy. Obviously with the uh, lens and everything, the matte box on the front, I need to get some counterweights really, but I don't wanna do that while it's on a tripod. I think this tripod is eight kilos. Lock that back up. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it seems sturdy. It's not going anywhere. It's really sturdy, to be honest. The, the feet on the bottom, I had to unscrew the rubber ends to get the rubber feet on the bottom. Otherwise, it's got the um, metal screw inside, which has got a point to it, you know, if you want to use it on grass. So it'll, uh, if, you just uns if you just screw those rubber things around it upwards, then the, obviously the points stick out the bottom, as normal tripods usually do. So you can stick into the grass and get a good hold so um but the rubber feet they seem to have a nice grip on them on this floor they're not moving at all this is really sturdy actually i'm happy with that so there you go that's it i don't know what else to say i mean i'll probably send this back because it is damaged unless they want to give me some kind of partial refund then i'll keep it and i'll try and open that up and then screw that screw that needs screwing to do with this Look at that, it's just loose. 
Also, I did, I don't know if I actually updated the video on that, but I did undo the clip at the bottom with the screwdriver because that was obviously broken. But because the legs were out of place, one leg was out of place, since obviously it was born in the factory, it is, seems to be permanently slightly out of place. It doesn't want to go back into place. Probably being in the box like that for so long has made it warped. So that is another thing I need to um, complain about. Uh, otherwise, Seems quite sturdy, so I'll uh, have to put it to the test, do some test shots. Right, so I'm gonna contact the seller on this tripod to see what they say and what they offer me, whether they'll uh, wanna do an exchange for a new one or um, give a partial refund, I don't mind. I mean, I can live with it. If I have to take the head off to get that screw tightened up, then so be it. Um, the legs, the bottom of the legs, I can live with. So we'll just see what they say. And I'll let you guys know in the description. So I'll check that out. If it's not updated yet, then I haven't had a response yet. Uh, there we are, it's cool. Thank you, Twilight off.